So once you've got the hang of creating your collections and editing the description in terms of search engine optimized text, the next thing we want to look at is linking. Now, this serves a couple of purposes. The first purpose and the primary one is that when your customer hits your website, they can find other things. Um, and in the example I'm giving here on my own website, hosiery tights, hold up stockings, I've put links through to other collections there, stockings, tights, uh, there's a manufacturer here, plus size hosiery. So what I'm doing is I'm creating links to things that are associated with the collection that the person is looking at. Now, a good example of that could be if you're selling a, um, a toy, then a link through to the batteries that go with the toy. Or if you're selling an iPhone, it could be links to the case. It could be links to accessories, headphones or something. So something that's associated with that product that may well be bought at the same time or similar products. So examples here would be stockings, tights, the brand, and maybe you're a plus size. So maybe you need to find plus size hosiery, not uh, actual ones that we're looking at. The second thing uh, that it serves is it tells Google how your site is organized and it gives Google an indication as to what is associated with what. Uh, and Google needs to try and understand what your store is, what it sells, but also the layout and the structure of your store. It needs to understand that one thing is related to another thing, that the two things go together. Because until you tell it that, it doesn't know has no idea what the things are, it's just a, just a bundle of words to Google. So what you're doing is you're helping it associate things together so it better understands your store. Also, you're getting the opportunity to throw other keywords in here that you might not have otherwise used. So let's take a look at tights. It says, want the stocking look but prefer tights. So we've already got the keyword stocking thrown in here but we're trying to add tights in as well. So I'm gonna highlight this and look at the link, see what the link actually says. So I'm gonna edit the link and you can see it's a direct link through to the collection that contains tights. And then the link title, again, I've put other keywords in. So I've gone and done keyword research and the keywords that I'm going after this time is sexy tights, because that's what people Google, they Google sexy tights. So not only have I got the word tights here in the description, and I've got a link through to the collection that contains tights, but I'm also getting another keyword. This is called an anchor, but I'm getting another keyword that uh, Google is interested in that links through to sexy tights. So win, 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 win for me. Um, the, the linking strategy is actually a, a pretty important thing within your site. Uh, Normally everybody links back to the home page of the site um, and all of the uh, the link juice it's called that, that that Google gives your site gets gets directed straight to the home page. Therefore the only thing that will rank in all likelihood is, is the home page. What linking does is it allows you to pass that link juice down through your site uh, and effectively what you're doing then is you're giving Google indications as to which things are most important and which things uh, you want to drive customers to for which keywords. So what will happen is, is as you add links into your sites properly so that, that collections are properly linked to from many places, not just appearing on the main menu and that's it. They're linked through from many places and everything is linked to everything else. Your site becomes much more of a a jumble of links as opposed to a top-down thing that is your, your main menu, your home page, that's it. And what that does, it passes the link through link juice through to those collections and those collections will start to rank individually whereas previously perhaps they didn't or they were buried down at the bottom of the, uh, of, of the ranking somewhere. Link juice will pass through and then those individual collections will start to raise themselves up uh, through the rankings and through the search terms. So internal linking, really important. And so once you've got the hang of putting the keywords in your collections, sprinkle some links in there. You don't need to put hundreds and you don't need to put the same link many, 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 many times. 
less is more. So I've got here one, two, three, four, which is absolutely plenty of links, uh, probably a little too much, probably two or three would be the optimum. But for the size of text I've got here, absolutely perfect. And they're linked through not just to one thing repeatedly, so we're just bashing it and going on about it. So Google is not stupid, it, it kind of knows you're trying to spam it. Um, we've done it naturally and organically, so it's linked through to four different things, tights, plus size, um, stockings, and a manufacturer. Four different links from one collection. And then these other collections, sexy stockings or tights, for example, you can link back again to this collection. So those collections can link back to this collection. Uh, so it's all, all kind of really nice working out well. Um, but don't forget the importance of letting the customer find what they want for conversions. And by having these links in collections, again, you're making it easier for the customer to find what they want, more likely to buy if they do that. But you're also making it uh, more attractive to Google in terms of getting it to understand your site and to correctly pass recognition through to uh, the right places in your website so the right places rank correctly.